The boys have been joking about that this morning, actually, that I could be fine leg to fine leg through the game. But um, no, look, I won't be in a cat. I won't be at second slip during the game. But I find there's some somewhere where I can keep myself uh, in the game. Yeah. Um, look, fingers good. I've, I've actually pretty surprised how I've been able to train the last couple of days. Like I've batted a lot the last two days, and I just took part in all the fielding stuff out there and just made sure I caught a few balls just to get used to the feeling of it. But um, yeah, something pretty strange is going to have to happen today for me not to play tomorrow. Uh, we haven't finalised an 11 yet. We'll do that in the morning. We'll just wait until the morning and see, what one, what the weather's like and two, if the wicket changes at all. Um, it looks like it's got a little bit of a bit of moisture in it again today from yesterday. It's a bit different than it was um, yesterday afternoon. So um, we just want to make sure we've got all our bases covered and everything and we'll announce that at 11 in the morning. But there is a bit of moisture around, which I think everybody's seen over the last couple of days. Um, talking to a lot of the Victorian boys and, and their state coach, that's pretty much what the wickets have been like for a lot of the Shield games uh, during the year. So... I'd expect that this one to play pretty similar to that. Well, there's a lot of buzz around today being Christmas Day and um, obviously coming off a great win last week. The, the attitude and I guess the environment around the team and in the change rooms the last, uh, last few days has been very, very good, as you'd expect. But, but saying that, it's been good right the way through the series. Our lead up in Brisbane was great and even though we, we didn't play our best cricket for the last half of Brisbane and, and certainly through the Adelaide game, the, the mood has still been very good. Um, We've trained well this week. We've just got to make sure we continue on from the, the, the very good cricket that we played last week. Oh, maybe will, yeah. I mean, it's not as if it's been the short balls that have caused the injury. It's been, it's been that I can't catch in the slips. But, um, oh, look, they probably will. I, I don't know. It mightn't be that sort of wicket either. It might be a wicket where you need to look to pitch the ball up a little bit more. So it's supposed to be pretty overcast. I'd expect the ball to seam around a little bit and swing around a bit. So I'll be prepared for whatever comes my way. Uh, it's a good question. I mean, you can probably look at it both ways. Um, we, th we thought the four quicks in Perth worked exceptionally well, and I, I probably, you know, the wicket didn't offer our bowlers any more than it offered the England bowlers. I just think our bowlers did it a lot better over there, and the fact that we were able to rotate the four through worked particularly well for us, and they all executed their plans particularly well. Um, this wicket, no doubt, early in the game is going to offer some assistance to the to the seam bowlers and swing bowlers as well. Um, but how long that lasts is is the query. You know, are you going to need a spinner on day four and day five? Um, that's they're, they're the things that you have to try and work out. So. Right at the moment, look, I haven't really thought about it that way that you said it then, but at the end of the day, as I said after Perth, it's about picking the, the four best bowlers for these conditions, whether that's another seamer or, that, or whether that's uh, Michael Beer. Oh, look, it's always a special day. Um, with that, that amount of people coming to watch the game, there's no doubt that... Uh, the nerves from players in both teams are going to be uh, you know, pretty high. Um, it is a great atmosphere here. I don't think there's any, any better ground in the world to play cricket on, maybe even play international sport on, to tell the truth. So um, there's sure to be a great turnout. Um, it'll be you know, very electric when we take the field tomorrow, and hopefully that has a good result on the way that our team performs. Oh, yeah, it's... I mean, days like this are the reasons that you, you play international cricket. I mean, it's, there's been a lot spoken about about the test game the last few years, and it, is it in decline or whatever, but it's hard for us to comment because it seems like most series that we play in are, are very well attended and generally end up being very good series of cricket. So this one certainly shaping up to be no different. Um, great crowds in the first three test matches so far, and I expect this week and certainly next week in Sydney that we'll get very good attendances once again. I don't think there's any doubt about that, yeah. I mean, I know, there'll be probably 20 or 30 Barmy Army supporters here. thousand, that is. Um, but, you know, the, the Barmy Army are great supporters and they'll help their, their players out where they can. But I, I'd like to think in this venue is probably one venue that they might get, uh, might get drowned out a little bit. So no doubt we'll get great support and there might be even the odd boo come towards the England um, players this week. Not just me all the time. Hilfie has. 
Um, that won't come into it. That won't come into it at all. Um, once again, we've got to pick the, the best the best four that work that we think are going to work best together over the next five days. Um, not sure what Michael Beer's record is here either, if you look at it like that. But you know what you know what you get with Hilf is a pretty much a guaranteed performer. You know what he's going to do for you. He's played enough Test cricket now to to understand himself and understand his role particularly well. I think it. Um, so you know they're they're all the things you think about. But uh, I must admit I haven't looked at his Shield record here, and, I'm, and the selectors certainly haven't spoken to me about that either.